welcome everyone to tonight's North Andover Central Catholic Girls Varsity Basketball game. This is a rematch from Tuesday night. The North Andover Scarlet Knights very enthusiastic during warm-ups. A little lopsided game on Tuesday. North Andover had trouble hitting their shots. Had a little uh, trouble with the transition defense. North, uh, Central Catholic got behind them a couple times. I think if they hit their shots, a lot of their problems will be solved. Starting lineup, Jackie Rogers, Hannah Martin, number four. That's Ella Flanagan, Katie Roby also starting. And number three, Solana Fahey. Man-to-man -man defense of Central Catholic. North Andover moving and passing the ball nicely. Nice crossover dribble to Flanagan to Fahey. I think that was slightly deflected. That's number one, Claudia Porto for Central Catholic. 22 is Maggie Smith. 14 is Ashley Dingus. North Andover basketball. Twelve is Adriana Niles, senior. That's Flanagan. Double team there. Hannah Martin to the basket. Got fouled. North Andover using all 30 seconds. That was a tough shot. I think she was fortunate to get fouled. Hannah Martin with two shots. She's a sophomore. She's also a distance runner on the cross country and track teams. That's good. North Andover takes the lead. Round it out. Rebound. Ashley Dingus. Ashley Ding Dingus, just a freshman. That's Claudia Claudia Porto, senior guard. Adriana Niles for two. She's also a senior. Central Catholic with man-to-man -man pressure. I think they're going to look to trap out of it. That's Ella Flanagan, number 30. Selena Fahey, number 3. Jackie Rogers, a little weave at the top of the key. Ella Flanagan thought about it. 10 seconds left to shoot. 3, Ella Flanagan, long. Selena Fahey hits it to Katie Roby, tie up. Central Catholic basketball. North Andover with a little pressure on their own. Haven't seen a lot of pressure from North Andover this season. I think it's kind of effective so far, making Central Catholic think about breaking the press instead of setting up their offense. Nice cut by Adriana Niles. She got fouled. Central Catholic set some baseline screens and uh, North Andover didn't handle it as well as they would have liked. You see number 15, Lily Angulin in the last starting lineup for Central Catholic. First shot is missed. It's good. I think Central Catholic is going to press here. And they are more of a zone press, but I think they're going to get back into man-to-man. -man. North Andover breaks it nicely. They have numbers. Central Catholic recovered quickly. 
Selena Fahey. Good. I believe that was a two, three to three. Niles, that's uh, Dingus. Hannah Martin goes for the steal. Central Catholic threw it away. All tied up. Central Catholic quickly backing away from that zone press. Ella Flanagan stops. Her shot was short. Hannah Martin with the rebound. Couldn't get it to go. Katie Roby, Fahey. A lot of tall players, but she got fouled. Selena Fahey, one of the two seniors on the North End of a roster. Shot is short. North Andover typically has a, has a very young team. Three sophomores in the starting, starting lineup playing significant minutes. Uh, one junior, Katie Roby, also playing significant minutes. Nice move. Nice rebound by Katie Roby. She couldn't get it to go. It was blocked. Ashley Dingus, number 14. Niles, number 12. Nice move. Made the defender go one way and went back to her left. She's a very physically strong player is Adriana Niles. There she is defending. Oh, excuse me, that's Lily Angulin defending. There's uh, Niles defending. Flanagan to Martin. Thought about it. Shot, shot clock winding down. Ella Flanagan had to shoot that ball. the freshman, Ashley Dingus. North Andover with pressure of their own. Claudia Porto with the ball. Fahey defending. That's Niles. Dingus back to Niles. Posting up uh, often. And two, she has an uh, advantage over uh, quite a few of the North Andover guards. Got the ball into a tight space. Martin to Roby, she comes up shooting. Foul on North Andover. Freshman Ashley Dingus is six feet. And Adriana Niles is 5'9", but very strong. They tend to have uh, advantages over shorter North Andover players under the basket. Katrina Garcia, the senior, number 12 in the game for the first time. That's Maggie Smith, couldn't get it to go. Dingus with the rebound. No, another shot at it, and it's good. You can see the height advantage there. And Martin with the ball. That's Fahey. Stolen. That was Dinkus again with the deflection and the steal. Fouled and scores. Other than Dinkus, the freshman, Central Catholic's very experienced squad. Eight seniors. Four juniors, if you include the injured Claire Finney. Central Catholic is undefeated in regular season pr play for over three years. Fall shot is good, and you can see why. Arlenas Velo is in the game, number two, guarding Martin. She's a junior. It's Katie Roby, covered by Niles. Garcia. 
Number two, Catherine Fitzgibbons in the game, sophomore. It's three. Who was that, Flanagan, Martin? Could have been Jackie Rogers. Ella Flanagan is out. Three for Central Catholic, 15-6. Long three. Fitzgibbons with the ball. Jackie Rogers going baseline. Reverse layup didn't go. Central Catholic running. Niles for three. Rebound, Roby. North Andover going to take their time. Minute 38 left in the first quarter. Into Roby. Got it there. And in. Nice move. Nice pass. It was a difficult pass, but it made it. I believe Central Catholic called timeout, and they did. Here's a shot of the North Andover be bench. There's the coach, Jeff Stavini, Massachusetts High School Player of the Year, her senior year in high school at Westford Academy, and she played on a number of uh, very good Boston College teams. 15 to eight, higher scoring game than Tuesday night. Especially for North, North Andover, they couldn't buy a basket in the first quarter. Minute 26 left in the first quarter. Ella Flanagan back in for Katie Roby. That's Vilas. Porto. Into number 45, Kaylin Sharnak. Senior, she's another uh, guard who can post up. I think uh, Central Catholic is looking for those mismatches under the basket. It's Flanagan, Martin, Rogers going baseline. Back to Fitzgibbons. Ella Flanagan got a little nudge from Porto. Nice fake by Fitzgibbons, but she got called for traveling. Arlenas Velos stolen by Fitzgibbons, fouled by Velos. North Andover wasn't getting those turnovers on Tuesday night. North Andover has a box. They'll pick down to the baseline. Central Catholic is has a very aggressive defense. I think some ball fakes will uh, get them to committed. Jump ball, tied up. That's Fahey in the game. Garcia, tough shot against the taller player. You see Central Catholic running the transition defense for North Andover, not quite there. 
Got hand over ball and a tie up. They uh, caught a break there. You know, uh, Central Catholic missed the layup. Oh, Central Catholic ball again. Okay. Central Catholic with box of their own. We'll see what they do. They're just going to post up. Sharnak, it's good. It's tough underneath the basket. They spread the floor a little nicely. It's no help available. End of the first quarter. That's a shot by Jackie Rogers. First quarter went by fast. Not a lot of stoppages. 19-8 Central Catholic. North Andover shooting is improved. Central Catholic is a very tough squad. Very deep. Very experienced. Athletic. Three team fouls on both teams. This is a shot of the North Andover bench. Savini diagramming a play in the North Andover huddle. Or maybe she's discussing uh, how North Andover is going to handle the defense if the ball goes into the low post. Andover will have the ball to start the second quarter. 11-point Central Catholic lead. That's Hannah Martin. Flanagan. Garcia. Oh, Garcia didn't see the double team coming up against Katie Roby. Again, I think a little deception on where the pass is going will help North End and make those passes easier. Martin to the basket, left-handed, up and out. A nice touch, didn't quite make it. You could see she was uh, dealing with three Central Catholic defenders. Niles with the ball, steal by Flanagan. It's Martin. Fahey, number three. Martin. Garcia. Charcock winding down. Fahey with the long three. 30 second clock violation. Pressure for North Andover. Dink is taking it the whole way. Rebound, Velaz, Velaz, foul North Andover. Arlene is Velaz, a junior guard. Around and out. Second shot is Sharnak with the rebound. Niles. No, that wasn't Niles. That was Leah DeLeon. Just came in the game junior guard. They were having difficulty rebounding. First shot is off. 
you can see it's a three on two on these free throws. So a, lo a long miss or a ball that hangs around the rim for a long time, the, the offense could have an advantage on the offensive rebounds. Second shot is good. Central Catholic with pressure, and they quickly back off as soon as the ball gets in bounds. Lily Angulin in the defense, number 15. Fahey, Rogers, Flanagan for three. Long. Martin with the rebound. Broke herself free from Lily Angulin. Traveling. Shot clock was winding down there. Six minutes and nine seconds left in the second quarter. North Andover having difficulty getting good shots. Maybe they should come up firing for three. The open three might be better than a contested two. Sarah Von Sneeder, number 20, in for North Andover. There she is defending. Almost a steal by number five, Maria Mangimelli, who also is in. Sharnak. Underneath, nice defense by Roby. North Andover couldn't come up with the rebound. Number five, junior Maria Mangiamelli, and number 20, Sarah Von Sneeder in the game. There's a box there for North Andover. Katie Roby fronting the play. They'll pick, a, pick away. Oh, they double teamed. Sharnak was open under the basket. Central Catholic couldn't find her. There's Ashley Dingus. Freshman is not afraid to shoot. Claudia Porto for three. No. Dingus fighting for the ring down, rebound. Tie up. Central Catholic ball. I have my uh, possession arrow mixed up. North Andover basketball. Martin into the lane. To Rogers, can't get it to go. Again, Central Catholic has numbers there. North Andover a little late getting back. That's Dingus for three. It's off. Very unusual uh, for a freshman to have uh, green light to shoot like that. Roby coming around, around the pick. Back to Rogers. Spins. Tough break. Can't get anything to fall. North Andover pressing out after the miss. Adriana Niles. Angelin. Covered by Mangiamelli. Nice pressure there. Oh, offensive foul, moving screen. You can see they're trying to post up, and uh, they get call for the moving screen. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Hannah Martin with the ball. Gets a pick from Rogers. Martin trying to find some room. Von Schneider, tough shot. Shot clock was winding down, foul by Mangiamelli, number five. Number 10, Samantha Gurton in the game, a freshman guard. Down into Niles. 
Couldn't get it to go. Rebound, North Andover. Hannah Martin getting to the foul, getting to the rim and fouled by Curtin. Hannah Martin for two. Shout out to her older sister, Emma Martin, North Andover High School track star, sprinter and jumper, now at MIT. Central Catholic substituting. Juan Porto is in the game. 22, Maggie Smith, both seniors. Second shot is good. Here's Porto. Down low to Smith. Nice touch. Maggie Smith, a uh, Central Catholic volleyball star. Middle blocker. It's Fahey. In traffic. Lily Anglin. She's going to take it to the basket. Got out too far underneath the basket. Nice help from Roby. Nice move from Roby to Garcia. Shot can't go. Jackie Rogers comes up with the ball. Shot clock winding down. She's realized that, had to go, got bailed out by Central Catholic. She'll go to the line. Jackie Rogers to the foul line. Also plays soccer and lacrosse for North Andover. Swish. One more shot for Rogers. Round and out. Porto with the rebound. She hit one foul shot. A little weave. Niles all the way to the basket. Rebound, Roby. Two minutes, 15 seconds left in the second quarter. North Andover kind of clearing out for Hannah Martin to operate a little bit at the uh, top of the key. Nicely into Katie Roby. Tough shot. You can see uh, the transition defense or the transition offense for Central Catholic is is uh, effective They're getting down the court faster than uh, North Andover. That was Lily Angulin with the two. Tough pass. Maggie Smith with the steal. Niles with the ball. See what, oh, they're going to post up Maggie Smith here. Nice double team by North Andover. And a turnover. North Andover saw that coming just like I did. Ella Flanagan into the game for North Andover. Ella Flanagan with the ball, sophomore. Katrina Garcia, backdoor cut by Rogers. Can't hit the, the layup. Flanagan with a rebound off the off the backboard and in. Much better offense by North Andover. Those backdoor cuts uh, were effective. Central Catholic very aggressive defense is one of the reasons for that. Pick and roll. Porter went Smith. There she goes under the basket. Tough shot. Nice defense by Flanagan. Anna 
Martin with the ball. Not a lot of room. Did attract a, a crowd, though. Katrina Garcia with the shot. Can't make it go. Central Catholic will run. Porto into Niles for two. Five seconds left in the second half, second quarter. Martin in and out, tough break. That'll do it for the first half. Central Catholic by 14. A little bit better effort from North Andover than Tuesday night. Central Cat on a North Andover myth, Central Catholic also always seems to have the numbers going forward. Both teams will be in the, oh, excuse me, the, the team fouls will reset for the second half, so no bonus in the first half. See the short half times, two minute, 15 second half times. I expect Central Catholic to go to their second and third units a little more liberally in the second half than they did in the first game. There's North Andover boys senior basketball players. Photography by Carol Maroney's North Andover Sports Stars. There's our two seniors, Selena Fahey and Katrina Garcia. Almost ready to go for the second half. Here, Central Catholic ball to start the second half. Twenty-two is Smith. One is Porto. Twelve is Niles. Central Catholic looks to have their starting lineup out there. Angulin, four, uh, I think it's fourteen. There she is with the ball. Green light as always. Running out the floor a little bit for Hannah Martin room to operate. She took that Fahey the rebound. Katie Roby, she can hit the three if she's left uncovered. She couldn't hit the shot over the back. Central Catholic ball. Andover substituting quickly. Maria Mangiamelian.
High pick from Smith. That was uh, that was Porto going all the way to the basket. Ella Flanagan with the ball. And Giamelli. Fahey. And Giamelli. Jackie Rogers. Flanagan. Flanagan sees the the uh, thirty second clock winding down. Decided to go to the basket, and she was fouled. Katie Roby. Rogers. Flanagan couldn't get it into Roby. Central Catholic running Adriana Niles for two. 16 point Central Catholic lead. The biggest of the game. Dingus with the deflection. Still North Andover ball. That was a five second call or traveling along the, the inbounds passer. There's Dinkus. Pick from Niles. Niles to the hoop. She got fouled and scores. She kind of went around a low post pick, went into the lane, got the ball at just the right time, put it up left-handed. Very strong player. Katrina Garcia in for North Andover. Again, Central Catholic has not lost a regular season game in three seasons and going on in their fourth season. They beat Andover twice last week. Central Catholic still pressing. That's Fitzgibbons. North Andover. No, it's turnover. Central Catholic ball. Dingus, always coming up firing and hitting. North Andover basketball on the tie up. Rogers. Manji Melly. Smith got her hand into that. We have Nick on our floor camera. Nate at the center court camera high up Crozier Gymnasium. Roby in the corner, back to Flanagan. Shot clock winding down. Ella Flanagan realizes it. Can't get it to go. Central Catholic running. Ashley Dingus get it behind the North Andover defense. North Andover not committing uh, defenders back when the shot goes up. Garcia with the pump fake. I'd like to see more of that. Katie Roby. 
Fahey. Garcia back to Fahey. Going to go to the basket. Left-handed shot. Slightly defect, deflected. Ashley Dingus, number 14, is six feet tall. Off of North Andover Central Catholic basketball. I'm not sure what the referee called there. I don't see them reporting a foul to the uh, scorer. Fitzgibbons. Deflected. Dingus all the way. Oh, she got pushed and the foul. She read the passing lane beautifully. She realized the uh, North Andover offensive player was on only going one place with that ball. And cut into the passing lane. Shot is good. Swish. Ms. Fahey. Jackie Rogers. Central Catholic giving North End over nothing there. You could see they were trying to get it into the low post. The ball didn't come quickly enough. The Central Catholic defender was able to get around and get their hand in. Catholic, bigger, more experienced, taller. Ball has to move much more quickly against them. Easier said than done. You see, see uh, Coach Justavini talking about the ball fakes one direction past the other. We're in the third period, four minutes left. Hard to believe, but North Andover is doing much better, showing more promise than they did Tuesday night. <laughs> Fitzgibbons, Fahey, Garcia, Roby. Rogers in for North Andover. There's the ball feet from Garcia. Fahey looking for Roby in the low post. She's not open. Garcia. Rogers into Roby. Less than 10 seconds. Rogers for three. A little short. You see Central Catholics always getting the numbers back on the offensive end. Jackie Rogers with the rebound. Covered by... Claudia Porto into the lane. No foul there. Cross court pass. Shot was blocked. Up to Niles. Porto open. Oh, she got fouled. Tough break for North Andover. I don't think that shot was going in. No need to foul there. It's a late foul. The ball was already gone. Claudio Porto to the line, senior guard. She'll get one more. Three point 
Three minutes left in the third period, third quarter. Number 33, Maeve Gaffney in the game for North Andover. Also a varsity volleyball player and a softball player, Maeve is. Second shot is good. Tough pass. That shows you how aggressive the Central Catholic defense is. Number 10, Janie Papel, the freshman in for North Andover. Ball going long to Rogers. Blocked. That was Angulin, I believe, with the block, or was it Porto? It was Porto. Ashley Dingus, short, rare bad shot from her. Fall on Fitzgibbons for North Andover. No, I'm sorry, fall for number two on Central Catholic, Arlenis Vilas. Janie Papel, back to Rogers for three. I like that shot, it was an open three. She had time to set herself. Dingus to DeLeon for three, it's good. Leia, Leah DeLeon just in the game, junior guard. Volleyball player. Maeve Gaffney posting up. To Gaffney, looking baseline pass. Nice ball movement there for North Andover. Fitzgibbons in the lane, it's good. Some substitutes in for North Andover. They're not quite sure whether they should be uh, running the offense or cutting to the basket. A little s stagnant. Porto, two. Pass, F Fitzgibbons got the ball from Gaffney, hit the layup and was fouled. Catherine Fitzgibbons, among the tall Central Catholic players, managed to free herself up for the shot, scored and got fouled. Number 20 for Central Catholic, Daria DeSantis in the game for the first time, she's a senior. Central Catholic with numbers. Leah <laughs> De Leon. Fall down away to the basket. Sanders for two. Get three offensive players on those foul shots. Central Catholic took advantage of that. Propel. Gaffney to the basket for two. Nice move by Maeve.
Turned over Central Catholic. Jane Papel. Here the countdown to Gaffney. Can it go? Gets it back. Gets a real rebound and scores. That's two baskets for Maeve Gaffney. And that's uh, your third quarter. North Andover with quite a few, three baskets in a row down the stretch there. That has to give them some confidence. Sixteen point Central Catholic lead going into the final quarter. I'm sure both teams will uh, substitute some of their lightly used players. Hannah Martin talking to the trainer. You don't want to see that. North Andover players talking it over. They all seem to have their input in that huddle. Samantha Curtin in the game. To Sharnak, tried to get it to Allison Fisher, also in the game for the first time. Senior Karina Garcina calling for it in the corner, didn't quite get it. Central Catholic in a zone. Touch Flanagan's shot was off. Long three for Rogers, short. Re, uh, rebound Roby. Jackie Rogers to the lane and good. Not sure North Andover realized the, the zone for, from Central Catholic. Allison Fisher, number 21, going to inbound the ball. Here's Gurton. DeLeon. Charnack, left handed. Rebound Rogers. Turnover, North Andover. There's no hurry there. I think they should have set, up, set, up, set their offense up. Nice shot of brightly lit Crozier Fieldhouse North, at North, North Andover High School. DeLeon, covered by Fahey, steal. That's Rogers. She's looking up, taking it herself. Number 20, DeSantis got her hand in there off of North Andover. A lot of defenders there, but a strong move to the basket. To Leon, to Sandus. Tried to get it into Kathleen Smith, sophomore, sister of Maggie Smith. Traveling. She 
They look to get the ball to Christina, Katrina Garcia in the corner. Traveled first. Six minutes left in quarter number four. 24 point Central Catholic lead. Girton go ba goes baseline. Baseline pick. De Leon into the lane, pass it to Smith, Kathleen Smith, back into De Leon, too strong. DeSantis with the rebound, Jackie Rogers knocks it out of bounds. Timeout, Central Catholic. Five minutes, 44 seconds left. Fourth quarter. Back to the North Andover huddle. I'm at a loss for words to say to you. Coach Justavini still coaching up the Scarlet Knights. Same lineup for Central Catholic. Long three. That's Fahey. Fahey, it's good. Finally got her shot to go. Pressure from North Andover. Smith, Gurton. Tie up. That was Ella Flanagan with the tie up against Allison Fisher. Sarah Von Sneeder back in the game. First action in the second half, I believe. Catherine Fitzgibbons, number two, also in the game. Maeve Gaffney back in. Three, DeLeon. Rebound, Fahey. She's running, she's gonna take it all the way. And it's good. Selena Fahey with the basket. High pick. DeSantis, short. Another tie up, North Andover ball. Sarah Von Sneeden with the ball. Maeve Gaffney, Fahey, Garcia, Fitzgibbons, back to Fahey, runner in the lane, short, Gaffney on the floor, love the tie-up, Central Catholic ball. Claudio Porto, number one, back in. That's Ang 
That's Dinglis. Missed. Rebound Smith. Dinglis again. Off. Rebound. Maeve Gaffney. Zully Mark Castro, number four for Central Catholic in the game. There she, there she is defending. Central Catholic in a zone. Dinkins with the block and the steal. There's Castro. Around and out. Made Gaffney with another rebound. Now Central Catholic in man to man defense. Kind of tough to keep track of if you're not paying attention while you're on the floor. Gaffney. Garcia. Short. She heard the shot clock winding down. Dingus. Castro. North Andover ball. Sarah Von Sneeder and taking the ball in. Shout out to her older sister, sister Emma. Played for the Scarlet Knights several years ago. Jackie Rogers back in. Central Catholic with the steal. Stepped into the passing lane, deflected the pass. Angulin in. No foul call. North Andover off to the races. Von Sneed and deflected by Dinglis. She's six feet tall. All the way to the basket. Block. North Andover. I thought she got fouled. I don't know what you referees at home had. You've probably got it right. Fitzgibbons. Central Catholic back in the zone. Into Gaffney. Foul by Smith. I believe that was younger sister, Kathleen Smith. Maeve Gaffney to the line. As I mentioned earlier, Maeve is on the volleyball team and plays softball. Shout out to little sister Bridget, also a softball player. Dingus with the rebound. Smith, the older Smith back in the game. Maggie Smith. Maggie Smith for Central Catholic listed at uh, 6 1 for volleyball in the Eagle Tribune, listed at 6-2 for basketball in the Eagle Tribune. And in my lineup, she's listed at 6-3, so she's still growing, according to my reports. Here's a shot of uh, Maggie Smith. to man for Central Catholic. They keep switching. If it's not tough enough to play against them. You see Central Catholic has numbers. Their transition from defense to offense, excellent. Tie up. No need for that aggressiveness. The referees will call a tie up. 
especially with 56 seconds left in a lopsided game. That's Flanagan, back to the zone, into Rogers. Nice interior passing to Maeve Gafty for another basket. Porto. Number 10 is Girton, cutting across the lane. Smith, couldn't Get it to the cutting, Allison Fisher. Rogers for three, too long. Gaffney with the rebound. Tough shot. Those are the final seconds. Final score, Central Catholic 46, North End over 29. A little more scoring from the Scarlet Knights this time. But they're, they're, they're tired of seeing Central Catholic. Can't wait to see Bill Ricca next week for Wednesday and Friday games. One more basketball this game this week. JV boys, and you can see the action at Cam Sports. That'll be all. Thank you. Hope to see you tomorrow. Good night.